Well, hello, this is Peter Combs, and today is uh, Friday, uh, January 13th, and we're going to take the uh, regular weekly uh, look back and see how things did on uh, eBay last week in the Chinese and Asian art category. few surprises, a couple of things did really, really well, and uh, also I noticed that uh, for some reason, and maybe the Japanese are coming into the market, I've noticed lately, keep an eye out, uh, Satsuma, and, or good Japanese pieces are starting to finally, uh, seem they seem to be coming back to life in some categories. Before I get on with things, a uh, few changes on the website that uh, you might enjoy. One of the things is we, we have never done a lot with Twitter. Um, and I, one, of my, one of my older children said, Dad, you ought to put Twitter on your website. So we did. We added a Twitter link here. And if you click it, it'll bring you over to a page we added that actually has the feed right on it. And there it is, okay? So if you're looking uh, uh, during the week for things, you might go there because we will be posting things there as we come across them. The other thing that we've added, and some of you did notice it, I got a couple of emails about it, we've added this page, page two. And uh, what it is, is it's also things that we found during the week that came up either too late to go into the newsletter or are things that are closing too far out. You know, they're 10 days out from uh, Sunday or, or, or Friday or something. <clears throat> so we're putting them there first, and then we'll move them into the newsletter um, in the next week. But you can maybe get a jump on it. And if you click that tab, it'll bring you over here. And here are some of the things we've come across. Uh, this is particularly nice. Uh, Pud's got this terrific big uh, transitional uh, vase uh, on here. And this vet, nice large 15-inch Kang Shi charger we found that seems to be in just about perfect condition. So uh, always, to, you know, when you're on the page, check out page two. See what you come up with. You, know, you never know. So the Twitter feed, page two, and the other thing is we're, everybody seems to have an app these days, and uh, someone suggested, why don't we? So we're working with uh, somebody to develop an app that can be uh, downloaded that will have automatically uh, get you right to uh, uh, the things that we think uh, pertain to our site, and we'll have uh, reference links to uh, some of the better websites around the world that we like a lot, like the British Museum, the Met Museum Collection of Chinese Art, the Fair Sackler Gallery, and so forth. So, and our YouTube videos. So when you're out uh, at an auction sitting around with nothing to do, you can click into your phone and uh, uh, go do some research. You can also look up things uh, while you're out in the field by using the app. We're gonna have rain marks on there and uh, do something about it, some images and so forth. So uh, uh, we'll let you know when it's ready, okay? Now, onto this page. Uh, Christie's has a sale coming up. It's linked off the page. It's the uh, uh, Chinese export sale. It starts on January 18th in New York. It is a great sale. Um, it's linked, there's a mention of it in the newsletter, and we did a post on it this week. And a big part of it is the uh, Popoff collection. Um, uh, Lorraine and uh, David Popoff have a phenomenal collection. They started years ago, and they collect the rarest of the rare of Chinese export and only in perfect condition. And uh, it's worth checking out. And if you click over to it, you're going to see some good things. I did notice this in here. And if, if you've been following these videos, uh, about a week ago, there was a transitional period vase, just like this one, um, that, that uh, was on eBay. And it went for $1,000. And I had mentioned at the time it was a really good buy. Well, here's one at Christie's. It's identical um, almost in every way. It's one of the Hatcher cargo pieces. And here it is, 10 inches, just like the other one with a three to $5,000 estimate on it. So it'll be interesting to see how well that does. I, as I said before, I think the guy that bought that, that other one off of eBay got a great buy. All right, this is some other parts of, the, of this sale that's coming up. Um, it's quite something. If you're a fan of the Rockefeller pattern, um, there's a number of good examples, especially these reticulated under trays over here. I think those are wonderful. And this massive platter, is a, it's a wonderful platter. It's almost 20 inches long. Think about that for a minute. There's a big, big platter. And uh, there's uh, some very, very good armorial pieces for the European and the American markets. There's a, also this great set of wine coolers. Look at this, a terrific pair of wine coolers down here, Yongshen period. Now those are you know, quite rare and, and reasonably estimated, seven to 10,000. I, uh, I think they'll probably do better than that. And here's the Popoff collection and uh, uh, this fantastic uh, teapot with the dragon spout. Great Lotus, classical, everybody's seen these, but that's a, a really, really nice one. It's 15 inches, and it goes on and on. This giant 21-inch Yongchen uh, Famille Rose uh, charger. Uh, they didn't make a lot of 21-inch chargers in the Yongchen period, and there is one. 
So uh, check out the sale. It's uh, it's worth going through, and um, I think you'll like it. All righty, and that's the uh, Pop-Off collection. Now, on to eBay. Let's see what's been happening. There was this bowl. This is a, probably a Republican period bowl, and uh, it, it looked rather nice to me. The enamels on it are very thick, nicely done with this sort of purplish ground. Uh, there's the mark on the foot. And what was interesting about this bowl was, and it was very hard to see, the, the seller did a pretty poor job photographing it. The bowl was inscribed. And uh, when you have good painting and inscription, even on Republican bowls of good quality, um, you get a good price. The bowl brought $4,123, which is a really good result. Um, but I think, I think enough people spotted it, but it might have brought more had he taken better pictures. And we had this in last week's uh, newsletter as well. This rather, I thought this was a very attractive cloisonne uh, plate or charger um, with a dragon and the carp in the center with all the Buddha symbols around the outside. And the back of the thing was uh, inscribed, but not, it was a good quality if you look at it up close. It's a late 19th century example, but quite nice. And the back of it was fully inscribed. And it looks like a, a nice uh, authentic example to me. And it went reasonably, I think, $975. So I think for a cloisonne buyer out there, um, someone got a really good buy, and I'm glad. That's nice. And this, this Kangxi uh, plate, this, this did extremely well. And it's, it's the decoration on it with this, you see this sort of misty blue around the, uh, around the prunus blossoms, the apple blossoms. And again, this light blue overcast they add uh, is more typically seen on uh, only kung shi vase, uh, typically kung shi vases, teapots, and, and hollowares. Not so much on plates and bowls. So it was a rather nice example and a good old example. And um, it was beautifully done. There's a detail of it up close, uh, good quality. And it was in very nice condition, as I recall. I think it was perfect. And uh, there it is. And came from, it got a nice old collector's label on it with, with the Ming mark. It's got the right foot, that nice, thin, white, creamy foot, and uh, did very well. About $1,225, which is a good result for that. So there's still a lot of life in this market. And there was this, this uh, Kangxi, uh, early Kangxi, I suspect, uh, vase. Uh, nice form. I love the shape of this thing. Very, very uh, curved linear and uh, good decoration reminiscent of transitional pieces. And uh, it was around eight inches tall, as I remember. And it did well. It brought $1,924. That was a good buy for someone. I, I, that was a nice example and a, a somewhat unusual shape. And as always, textiles. Textiles continue to do well. This was a collection that was put up by a seller who had uh, gotten the uh, leftovers, basically, of a large collection and put it all on eBay. And this, this example, this, this collar pattern, went really reasonably um, with, with inscription and a Fu lion in the center. Nice condition. It's a good mid-19th century or earlier piece. And uh, there's a detail of it. Really nice quality. And someone got a nice buy if they're textile buyers. Went for $100, all right? Uh, so that was that was one of the better buys of the uh, week, I think. Uh, if you're if you're a silk buyer, a nice piece. He said it was early 20th century. I don't think so. The the weave and design and the coloration of it make me think it's probably 50 years earlier than he's guessing on that. And there was this bowl, this monochrome um, sort of anwa decorated dragon bowl with a, with a Dao Guan mark on it. Uh, uh, Josh Chamberlain up in New Hampshire had this uh, under the username Juice. His sale closed Monday. Uh, here's the inside of the bowl. There's the bottom of it. Nicely done. Looks looks okay to me. Good looking foot on it. That sort of slightly, again, that creamy uh, white foot. And uh, well decorated. Beautifully decorated. A little bit of uh, iridescence here. You can even see it in the light, which is a, is a good sign. It's not always an indicator of authenticity, but, but every all other things being look, taken into account, it was a nice example. And it did well. It brought $2,716. But for the monochrome collectors, this, I think, was a terrific buy. And lastly is this, these pair of uh, Femi Noir, probably late 19th century. Um, and this was, I wanted to mention these because usually the, one of the vases had a, a pretty good chip out of the foot right here. Um, and usually pieces that have a, a pair of vases that are sort of late that have a chip out of the foot don't do all that well. Yeah, they have Kangxi marks on them. They're not Kangxi. They're uh, early 20th century, I suspect. 
Um, you can tell by looking at the decoration, it's a little bit stiff to be Kung Shi, and a few other elements aren't quite right. But nice looking pair of Femi Noir. And uh, they, did, they did, I think, surprisingly well. They brought over $3,000, um, which, which I found rather surprising. The rest of his sale did very well as, as well. Uh, uh, overall, uh, I think, uh, I noticed there was, a, there was a gilded piece that brought $10,000 that wasn't that old, and he sold it as being contemporary, but um, it, it still did extremely well. So that's it for the week. So uh, check the Twitter feed and uh, come back and visit. And uh, check out uh, in the future when we get the app up, we'll, we'll let you know we have it and you can download It's going to be free. We're not going to sell it or anything. Um, but you might find it to be really handy on your iPhone when you're out in the field looking at things or going to auctions. And uh, it's just something we, we thought would be fun to do. Um, uh, my kids know more about it than I do, but <laughs> don't they all? All right, have a great week, and um, we'll see you next time. All right, have a good weekend. Bye-bye.